In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a menu animation for your UX prototype. Let's get started. So right now I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. It's an Android app design that includes an inbox page and a menu page. On the inbox page, there is this hamburger icon that when the user taps on it, I want this menu to appear from the left hand side. I'm going to import the sketch design into origami and then add some animation to it so when the user taps on it, the menu actually opens. So to begin, I'm opening up a blank origami file that I've set to a galaxy dimension. If you're brand new to origami, I really recommend watching my intro video into the program. In that video, I go over the whole interface and how to get started with it. It can be a little complicated in the beginning, so I really recommend watching that video before diving into something like this. But right now, I'm going to go back into my sketch file and click my inbox artboard. Then I'm going to grab all the contents of this artboard by holding down shift and then saying command C to copy everything and then going into origami and then pasting it by clicking command V. Everything from sketch now appears in origami as one solid paste layer, which I will rename inbox. Now jumping back into sketch, I'm going to grab this menu drawer again, clicking command C to grab all of its contents, jumping back into origami and then pasting by clicking command V. And I'm going to relabel this paste layer as menu. And I'm going to hide this layer. So I want to add an animation so when the user taps on this hamburger icon, the menu slides in. So I'm going to go to this plus area to add a new layer. And I'm going to add a hit area. A hit area allows you to add interaction to any specific area of the screen. So I'm going to place this layer onto the screen. And this little red box appears and I'm going to place it in the top left corner. So first I'm going to change its anchor position and then change its Y position. So this area will now be a tap target. I'm going to unclick setup mode so that way it becomes invisible and the user cannot actually see it. Then I'm going to go to this hit area and click touch and tap. Pay attention to this area. If I actually tap on this hit area, which now is invisible, the tap interaction is triggered. We're going to take advantage of this in our prototype. So when this is tapped on, I want an interaction to occur. So when tap becomes active, I want to turn on an animation switch. So I will add a switch patch by double clicking on the screen and clicking tap to the turn on part of the patch. And by doing so, I want to start a transition of the X direction of this menu page. So maybe I want this menu to appear from the left hand side, but I don't want it to appear fully from all the way over here. Maybe I want it to transition from right around here to being fully out and then change the opacity. So I'm going to modify the original position of the menu. So maybe I'll start the menu at a negative 150 and end it at zero. I'm going to also want to have a transition of the opacity of the menu. So I'm going to start it at zero and end it at one. So that's its default values. So with the menu layer selected, I'm going to apply this transition of negative 150 to zero to the X position of the menu layer. I'm going to take the end of this transition patch and connect it to the X position of that menu. And then I'm going to also take this transition of zero to one and apply it to the opacity layer. Next, I'm going to attach the switch to both transitions and I'm going to try the prototype out. So when I click on this menu, I'm expecting the menu to appear. I tap and the menu appears, but there's no kind of transition or really animation that occurs here. So I'm going to want to include an animation patch. So I will include a classic animation that will have a particular kind of curve to it. I'll do a quadratic in out. I'm going to place this in between the transition and the switch patch. Replay the animation, click, and now it animates. It's a little slow, so I'm going to increase the speed. I'm also going to want to include an overlay that appears in the back of the screen when this menu is visible. So I'm going to add a rectangle layer. So I'm going to go to this plus, add a rectangle, and place the layer on the screen. Adjust its size to take up the majority of the screen. 
modify its opacity and place it behind the menu layer. Now I only want this overlay to be visible when the switch is turned on and this menu appears. So I'm going to add another transition of 0 to 0.5 that will modify the opacity of this overlay. I'm going to attach that transition to that overlay layer. And when I click refresh, the overlay is gone. When I click that hamburger icon, the menu appears and the overlay appears, which is exactly what I want to occur. Now, when the user taps on this area, I want the switch to be turned off. There are multiple ways for us to do this, but for right now, I'm just going to add another hit area. Going to this plus, clicking hit area and place the layer. I'm going to relabel this hit layer turn off and relabel this one menu icon. So the turn off switch, I'm going to move its position to the side and increase its height. So now when this area is selected, I'm going to add this touch and a tap interaction again. And so when I tap on this area, again, tap is triggered. So when this is tapped, I'm going to turn off this switch, which will then revert all of these interactions. So now if I tap on this area, it reverts back. I'm just going to unselect setup mode for this again, click the hamburger icon, it appears, I click here and it reverts. So that's how I add menu animations to my UX prototypes. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.